Hi, um, I, my name is Dave McCool. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Muzzy Lane Software. Uh, so our mission is basically to bring simulations to K-20 and corporate learning broadly. Um, sort of been a mission we've been on for a long time. Uh, I'll talk today about what we've done to, to make it cost effective and, and scalable across uh, curriculum. So why simulations? You know, learn by doing is, is a pretty proven effective method. There's a large body of research out there that shows it increases engagement, increases retention, uh, allows you to assess uh, complex thinking and auto assess uh, that kind of learning, which is, which is an important thing to be able to do, especially in the online space in higher ed where um, a lot of times you don't have the support to be able to do that through traditional methods like, say, writing a paper or doing a group project. So the state of the market today, so Chloe 3 report just came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, we now have 38% of respondents saying that they're either common or very common, um, but there's a catch. Um, and that's that there's still a belief that uh, digital simulations and games are expensive to create and are difficult to scale. And the scale issue is a little bit different than the price issue. It it's, goes to training and, and curriculum integration and you know, applicability to different course areas like say social sciences or humanities uh, versus business. Um, so, we did some work under the Gates Foundation grant a couple of years ago, saw a lot of these same things, um, and really went out to build a platform to try to address those issues. So the result of that was Muzzy Lane Author, which came out in 2015, uh, and it's basically a SaaS platform that allows non-technical people, so SMEs and instructional designers, to build their own online simulations, to build in feedback, to build in auto-assessment, and then de deploy those as part of their online courses. Um, some of the big things for us were we were trying to adjust the cost issue. Uh, we wanted to make sure that it scaled so, so the tools that, that we offer are applicable to all grade levels, all subject areas. Um, and then some key things that we heard in the research which weren't usually addressed by simulation developers in the past. Um, full support for mobile, including phones, uh, was an absolute requirement, uh, especially if you look at the way these students sort of do their homework and live their, their life these days. Um, accessibility was a must as well, WCAG 2.0 AA being the current standard everyone's shooting for, which we meet. Um, and then integrating into the LMS, so LTI, Google Classroom, uh, all requirements. Um, so actually last year at this conference, we announced a major partnership with McGraw-Hill um, in higher ed, so we are now doing two things with them. Um, we're working with them to build simulations into their entire um, higher ed offering, so you'll see them showing up in all their courses. Um, and we've also partnered in the market where we license directly to universities uh, and can provide them with services and support and content uh, where they need help to fill gaps in what they're trying to do. Um, and then all that's delivered through their platforms and also through the usual LMSs. Um, so to kind of give you a sense of what we're doing, so environmental science, t applying the theories of floodplains and earthquake to decide where to locate facilities. Um, economics and finance, working with external data like the Fed Reserve data from uh, St. Louis that you can pull that in and, and light up challenges for students to solve economic problems or financial problems in, in organizations. Um, applying soft skills in business is a huge area, so ethics is one good example where you can create all these role play scenarios where students face ethical, ethical choices. Are they trading those off against shareholder value or other, other considerations around publicity? Um, and, and sometimes you're assessing them, but sometimes you're just also helping them understand what kind of person they are, what kind of leader they would be. Um, Cybersecurity is a huge area, so setting up cybersecurity scenarios where you analyze attacks, figure out what methods were used to, to create those attacks, and then what countermeasures you would use to, um, to address them in the future. Marketing's a big one, so the four P's of marketing is, is an easy thing. You know, there's a food truck scenario where you apply those, those uh, to your running your business or introducing your product into a market. Um, and again, it can give you feedback and give you comp competition and um, let you know how well you're doing and where, you, where you've done uh, well and poorly. Um, operations management, so supply chain management, running individual supply chain scenarios and crises versus all the way up to running a full you know, clothing manufacturer where you actually have to source materials and bids and build product and ship it back out and deal with bottlenecks and production floor issues and, and staffing issues. Uh, history is another great one, so you know, impeachment, you know, going back into the shoes of someone in the past, dealing with the, the choices they had to make and try to figure out what you would have done. Um, military simulations as well, a big, a big thing in history. Um, you know, become a general, become the leader, again, make the big picture choices, or go down to the, the ground level and be part of um, dealing with the results of those decisions. Social studies, uh, primary source data, all that kind of stuff. Watch my time here. And then an area we didn't expect up front, but student success, so working with note taking, uh, financial aid literacy, um, study skills, time management, a lot of value comes out of that for students that help them 
move forward. Um, so in higher ed, we've got great traction. Over a million games have been played so far on the platform, uh, continuing to grow at a good rate. And we're looking for partners in K-12 or corporate education because we feel like there are good applications there as well. And it's a licensed model. We offer training and support. Um, and since it's a, a SaaS platform, you have access to all the updates that come along and lots of data. Thanks.